Everybody loves Mega Man, right? Well, apparently everybody except for Capcom, but hey, mostly everybody loves Mega Man. In the 90s, he had been known mostly for his work on the NES, so naturally the next step was to take him to the arcades, which in theory sounds like an awesome idea. But how the hell do you take a Mega Man game and put it on an arcade so the machine actually makes money? Can you say boss rush mode? Because Capcom did with Mega Man the power battle. And that's pretty much all it is. You fight the bosses from the Mega Man games. The kicker was, for the first time, you could have two players playing at the same time fighting one Robot Master. Once again, in theory, sounds kinda cool, and for the first 10 seconds, it is. But man, does that novelty wear off quick. Here's the thing, Mega Man games are traditionally known for being fairly tough, and you would think that being an arcade game, which job is to suck quarters out of your pocket, it would only amp up the difficulty even more. But that is totally the opposite of what happened in this game. It's ridiculously easy. Once you just fly through the Robot Masters every choosing, you do head to a rather uninspired version of Dr. Wily's castle, but don't get too excited because you're just going to face a mini-boss. Either the Yellow Devil from Mega Man 1, or a pumpkin inside of a pumpkin that is inside of a pumpkin. Yeah. Then it's on to Dr. Wily, etc, etc, and let me just save you the trouble and show you the ending. Look, you can play through this game, first time playing if you have a buck in about 10 minutes. Like I said, you can breeze through the game, but why would you want to? After dropping a quarter, maybe 50 cents, you'll be bored to walk away. Just like I did. Mega Man, you definitely deserve better.